What's up? My name is Keisha and today I want to share something very cool with you. It's a list of top 10 musician unwritten rules. Stay tuned if you want to see more. I spent some time meeting up with different musicians and um, getting their opinions for um, unwritten rules. When you join the scene, there's a lot of things that you might not know about. So um, here are a few unwritten rules from the perspective of a musician. Check it out. I'm Dane. I'm Estian. And uh, we're the vocalists for Holborn. The first one would be to not do it for money. South Africa doesn't really, you know, as yet have the potential to really just make money, especially when it comes to the metal scene. Um, I feel that if you, you know, want to make heavy metal music here, you just got to do it for the love of it. To take the game into your own hands, I mean, you can't just wait around for people to do things for you. Learn how to produce, learn how to record your own stuff, just don't stop making music. There's no record labels out here for, for metal and the subgenres thereof, so you know, learn to do it yourself and get good at it. I'm Musi, I play for a progressive rock and metal band called Till Thomas. My rule make the best of the situation and have fun. I mean, like with a gig or anything that ever happens in life, if one thing can go wrong, anything can go wrong, and everything could go wrong. And if you're gonna be miserable for that period where everything's going wrong, then you're gonna give a really crappy show and your audience are just gonna be as miserable as you are, which is not fair to them. I'm Travis from the band Santa List. My unwritten rule is to always thank the sound guy. If you're a dick to the sound guy, he's gonna make you sound like shit and no one's gonna wanna listen to your band. My name's Gareth and I am the guitarist for Riddle Break and the vocalist for High Ray. B accommodating towards people that approach you and would like to talk to you. Um, one of the biggest nerve-wracking things for me, and it still very much is so today, is that um, if I watch a local band that I really enjoy, uh, I find it very difficult to approach them and tell them how kick-ass I think they are. So um, now that I'm gigging, um, I would like to make that easier for the other Gareths out there that find it really hard to approach bands and uh, try to be more welcoming to strangers and fans that would just like five minutes of your time. It really goes a long way and um, it, it's true for myself when a band is open to talk to me after they show. Um, it makes me go home with like this really warm, fuzzy feeling in my heart. So try and be approachable to, to everyone while you're at a show. I'm Dean Barreto and I play guitar for Dean Hoff. I recommend as a rule for a band and a solo artist, I always recommend contacting the venue or the place that you're performing at long before that you guys play or even rehearse to know what gear that is at the place, at the venue, when you get there, the back line, your tech rider, and to know if you're gonna need any cables, any separate speakers, any PA systems for backing tracks or any, uh, anything like that. So in case there's any inconvenience at the venue, you can't blame the venue and you can't blame your own band. It'll come down to your professionalism to get that initiative in. Hi, I'm Darren. I play for a band called Fall With Honor. Some of these unwritten rules are um, thanking the organizers for the event and for letting you play, thanking the venue owners for letting you play, uh, promoting your event uh, properly by sharing and inviting people and getting other members to promote your events. My unwritten rule about gigging would most definitely be um, supporting all the bands. So if you have a gig, pitch up early and leave late. Like, my favorite thing about gigging is watching all the other acts, all the other bands, and making friends with them. Like, I hate it when musicians pitch up before they're set, and when they're done, they just leave. I mean, what's, what's the point then? So, yeah. I say metal, guys. <laughs> Come to gigs. <laughs> my name's Jason Cameron. I'm the drummer for The Tainted. So my unwritten rule is for musicians and fans to support the local bands by buying uh, their merch to help produce albums, um, improve equipment, and just to make the shows, improve the shows in general. 
for all you fans out there. Uh, I'm Dwayne and I'm the front man for Militant Mortar. Our unwritten rule for playing live would be always make sure your guitars have fresh strings on when you play live. Uh, all strings will not make the cut. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it was a lot of fun making this video so let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Also remember to check out all the bands because they are fucking incredible local bands and you can support them by following the links below. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Thanks guys!